Hello, my crafty friends. My name is Denise Becker, and boy, does it feel good to be back on. Uh, Y'all, I finally, finally feel a whole lot better. Um, I still have another week to go on um, prednisone. Oh, God. But um, I'm doing much better. Uh, I saw uh, my family doctor, my rheumatologist, and my guest gastrologist is that what you call it a <laughs> stomach guy <laughs> but um i've had a um, pretty pretty major uh lupus flare up and uh gastritis you know my stomach was awful um I, my doctor actually wanted to put me in the hospital and get a cat scan immediately but i know what the problem is i have chronic gastritis so that flared up and and uh I've just been exhausted and just hurting from head to toe and uh, just feeling lousy. I uh, still have the sniffles. I'm on three different kinds of allergy medicines because um, uh, it's it's getting spring down here. Uh, winter's over, thank gosh. Um, and um, I don't know if it's allergies or what. I'm, you know, I, I have taken antibiotic after antibiotic and I still have... Um, the sniffles a little bit but it is getting better and uh i recently last few days i got in here and just uh, started um i saw these boxes these card boxes that hold a two size card boxes and i just said oh okay nothing came i couldn't think of anything so i went back to my basics where i like to make 3d projects and um i started working on these and i absolutely love them and uh I got this from, uh, this is not my idea, Teresa Brown, and I can't remember exactly what she called it, but it is an A2 size box holder, uh, and they're deconstructed, and I'll show y'all, it's very, very easy to make. Um, this one I made um, using the um, Garden Meadow uh, stamp and uh, Meandering Meadow DSP, and I just love this paper because it's just, it's nature scenes. Um, and that I love. So you see the back. I decorated the front and the back the same paper, and it's just so pretty. And you can, you know, any kind of scenic paper you could do this with. The sides I made, I used a different um, DSP, and up here I just flipped one side over, and uh, it's got a magnetic holder. And you see my car. I have six cars in there, and uh, it's just so pretty. I just love it, love it, love it. And I'll show you the cards. Uh, I use the same. Um, uh, pretty DSP. This is all retired, I'm sure, but you see these beautiful meadow scenes. They're just absolutely stunning. So that's what I use. Oh, I love that one. Oh, I didn't use that. Shoot. <laughs> that's pretty, but I'll, I'll use it because I love it. And the, um, garden meadow stamp set and the, actually the only stamp I used was this little flower on the envelope. That was it. <laughs> I didn't use any, anything else. I was trying to make it it's simple and easy, you know, to ease back into it. And I am rusty, y'all. I am very rusty. So, um, uh, I wanted to, I, I just fell in love with this box. And where's my cards? Okay. So let me just show, um, let me just show you, um, the cards I made using that paper. Uh, this one, let me get this out of the way. I love this box. And these, I just had, these were a sent to me, uh, uh, from friends and I just saw them in my uh, stash. I was looking through it and I said, huh, that goes, that's, that's perfect. I love it. Love it. So I, so whoever sent me this, I love it. And I put it right on there. I hot glued it on and then I poke, put a little hole back here and uh, tied a little uh, butterfly charm on it. And that's what that is. But I did decorate the inside and the magnets are up here on this flap and down here on the, down here on the box. And I did use um, two on each side instead of just one in the middle because that just makes it um, more stable, I think. But anyway, my, the cards I made, um, just sending hugs. And I had these cute little, tiny little birds. And I just put them in the sky and uh, embossed a strip. These were from Stamptastic Design. She, she had made some of these cards. And this one I just cut off an inch and it, I partially embossed the inside of this one. Just very simple and I had to put these little butterflies down here. And then I used just, just basically the, the paper, just the paper. And um, 
I embossed the background. This is Berry Burst and Fresh Freesia. And then I just used the paper and put just a ribbon and a bow. And, you know, very simple, very simple, easy cards. And I put a little dragonfly down there, too, with the birds. Same thing. And then in the die set, there's this arch that uh, I just cut out. I used um, uh, 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 from my card base, I came down a quarter of an inch and then just cut the little arch out and put the uh, designer series paper in the background. And I just put thinking of you and little butterflies. And um, same thing here. They're basically the same, just different papers. So very simple, easy cards. And then the envelopes, all I did was just use that little stamp. And you know, the different colors that I use of the cardstock, just stamp the little flower. So that's all I did. And then very easy cards. That's what I was looking for. Easy, simple cards. And you can see six fit very well in there. And then after the cards are gone, you could obviously use it for a um, storage box. And, um, so I was just experimenting. I didn't make the cards for this one yet, but I absolutely love this, um, uh, what's this called? Translucent florals, this paper, and I'm gonna make some cards. And this one, I just put a um, triple bow on top and cut out out of the DSP, these flowers. And uh, did basically, you know, just the same thing. I just used different, uh, I used a contrasting designer series paper as, my, as a layer and then the DSP and uh, you know, and then this one, I did not use another uh, cardstock. I just used, I just wanted, was just playing around. I haven't decorated or anything yet, but I just wanted to just, you know, just ease myself back into crafting. And um, I like it. I really like it. And, you know, Amy is forever needing gifts. And I thought, well, that'll make a nice gift. And I'll just find some quick and easy cards to make. And I do like, I do like this tone on tone too. Um, I really like that. But then I said, you know what? I have always loved um, red and black together. I think it makes a beautiful uh, combination. So my base of the box is gonna be black and then my layering pieces are red. And then I put the, um, I this is all retired. This paper I've had, I've got so much of it. Um, beautifully pinned and uh, you know, it's just sitting there and just sitting in the room. I have another room where I keep a lot of papers and stuff, and uh, it's just sitting there. So I said, you know what? I'm going to do it. I, I love I love the paper. I love red and black together. And so I went. The, these are the uh, all the decorations I've already done. I hope I've done everything. But uh, I just want to show you all how to make this box. Oh, no. That's not good. Um, that is not good. hope that doesn't matter. No probably won't okay so um and I've got my magnets over here hopefully I've got everything ready so it's a very quick and easy um box to make um I the hardest part for me was getting magnets on <coughs> and that was the hardest part <coughs> excuse me <y> <coughs> I still have <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Take a drink. <clears throat> Here we go. There my voice goes. <clears throat> this is what's been going on. It's off and on. It'll go away and then it'll come back. But anyway. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, I'm so sorry. <clears throat> Uh, I've got my cheat sheet over here, and hopefully I've got everything written down, and I will leave the measurements, and uh, you'll see, this is, you can decorate it however you like, I'm just, you. I did use um, Teresa, uh, her measurements, but, um, actually I didn't, I changed a couple of things around, <laughs> you can do that with this, you can decorate it however you like it, but I would suggest that since it's a box, that you definitely you use cardstock as your base and use some cardstock uh layers especially your 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 first layer you, you if you don't want to put the um um now you probably would want to put designer series paper you could stamp on it or make your own designer series paper whatever you want but it just makes the box a whole it's, it's very sturdy nice little sturdy box so um yeah i would definitely use uh cardstock on this so the first piece we need is um, one six by 12 
piece of cardstock, which is going to be the body of the box. Okay, and we're going to put it on the long side and score at four and three quarters. Four and three quarters, six and a half, and eleven and a quarter. Make sure I got that. I'm rusty, I'll tell you. I'm really rusty. I didn't realize how rusty I was till I got in here and started making it. I went, dang, I forgot how to do everything. I'm just going to go ahead and burnish this and get it out of the way. Did y'all watch that riveting speech last night? <laughs> yeah, it was fun. <laughs> I barely, I could barely watch it, but I watched it. <laughs> oh, good Lord. Okay, and now we're going to have the flat piece, which is going to get attached on the body. It gets attached, right? You'll see when I put the box together, it's going to be attached to this little half-inch piece right there. And you really, you really can't tell. So you put it on the short side. This piece is six and three quarters Wait a minute. No, I'm sorry. Six by three and three quarters. Six by three and three quarters. And on the short side, you're going to score at one and three quarters. Okay? Just like that. And you'll notice that one piece is, um, one side is uh, shorter. That's the shorter side is the piece that we're going to attach to the front. Just like that. And this will be the bottom, and I'm going to have to, I, I, you don't have to, but I just think that the rounded um, corners are, are just, to me, more pleasing. Uh, you know, if you don't want to do it, don't do it. You could actually put some kind of little um, uh, corner, you know, those little metallic corner things there. That'd be kind of nice, too. I didn't even think about that. But I don't have any little ones anyway. Not small enough for that, so I just rounded it. And then the sides, too, you'll need two, obviously, and they are five and a quarter by two and three quarters. And what you do is you're just gonna score a half an inch. You're gonna put on a short side. Am I in frame? Yeah. And you're gonna score it half an inch. Oop, I skipped the track. Okay, and I just, I just flip it around half an inch Put it on the long side and on only on one side half an inch that's going to be our glue tap good grief i keep skipping the track need some wax paper i did it again there we go okay yeah definitely need some wax wax paper that does help just wad up a ball of wax paper and rub it over your um, scoreboard and it, it does slide better. Same thing on the other one. Half an inch, on the long, put it on the short side, half an inch. Some people find it easier to score over here. Um, I, I, I don't know, I just, I, this is the way I do it. Half, I keep, okay, this is ridiculous. There we go. And then on, on the long side and only one side, half an inch. Okay, that's all the scoring there is. It's really easy. Let me put this away. Okay, just burnish these. I do like making um, deconstructed bags and boxes. I enjoy that. Now, on the sides, you're going to need to um, do a little cutting. And what we do need to do is remove these little squares in the bottom. And you don't, you need to make an angle. Don't cut straight up the square li a score line. Just come over and just angle cut right to that intersection. And then angle cut again. So it looks like that. See, it's not straight across. You've cut angles on both sides. And it's just easier for me to turn it around. I'm going to do the same thing. Come in, angle cut right that score line, and then angle cut, okay? 
and then at the top you do the same thing make a a little little angle right up there to the the, the score line little angle cut so when we put it together it doesn't hang over same thing here we'll come in an angle cut and angle cut okay it's really not hard y'all don't be afraid if you've never made a box or bag before it's really not not hard okay oh let me angle cut this up here because it will hang over if i don't Just right up to that score line. Okay. And I've got my little trash can over here. Thank you, Suzanne. Okay, so that's ready. This, and the only thing I have to do with this is, um, this is what the, the little smaller end we're going to attach. So this, I need to round the corners. And um, this is also, this this is retired too, this trio punch. But I that's how I round my corners. Might have to stand up. My hands are a little bit weak. There we go. Put that in there. Okay, there we go. Now that's there we go. So everything, everything I use the same um, corner rounder, so they would all match. But I just love these boxes. I'm crazy over them. They're a lot of fun to make. Okay, so. Take your bo your your box, um, the body of your box and your sides, and we're gonna attach. Yeah, you want the the bumpy side? That's the inside. So we're gonna attach the uh, sides just like that. We're gonna line this this little tab right here, right up, right up to the edge, and line up this score line on here to this score line. Both sides. Just make sure they're both even. And then you're good. Good to go. I'm just going to go ahead and put the glue on and then I'll line it up again. Uh, okay, so just line those score lines up. Push that over and then bring this up just to make sure that you're, you're even. Yeah, that's even. You want this, this score line even to the edge of the paper whoop got a little glue, too much glue there but that's on the inside it won't matter and we're going to turn it over and do the same thing okay so let me just get my glue on i really made these boxes uh, and line these score lines up just like that push this little tab right up to it push this down and over and make sure it's straight there we go that's it um i uh really <clears throat> started making this boxes because um I, <clears throat> you know i've been i felt so bad for donna uh, from ha having pl having fun playing with paper uh you know i i'm I wanted to send her out a stamp set that I don't use. And I tell you, I've been so sick. And I did contact her and told her, bless her heart, she's got bronchitis right now. But uh, I felt so bad that I haven't been able to do this. I said, you know what? I'm going to make her something. So that's, um, Donna, you're getting uh, one of these. So I just felt horrible. I said, that's just crazy. But I, I tell you all, I couldn't, I couldn't move. Now, I'm going to take, we're going to glue on the outside of this glue tab. We're going to bring this up and attach this to the, this will be the back of the box with this little flap right there. Okay? So, just put your glue right here on the outside. Don't put too much, but enough. And then bring this up. And I know it's hard to see with black, but I like to kind of start at the bottom and just line it up so it, the score line in this outside of the box is even. You want that as even as you can get it. it. Just makes your box nice and squared off. Everything, you know, fits better. Let me just make sure that's... Yep, that looks good. And then I'm going to take my bone folder and just spread out that glue. Okay. 
the same thing over here. I'm gonna put glue on this glue tab. Uh, and bring this up and come down here at the bottom. And that's when I, I come down here at the bottom and just it just seems to, I don't know, it works better for me, but however it works for you. Just make sure these two edges are as even as you can get them. They look pretty good to me. So then just spread that glue out, okay? And then we'll put the front together. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the, it's just easier to go ahead and put the glue on both sides now than trying to lift it up and, you know, doing one at a time, it's a little, little trickier so I'm just gonna go ahead and put the glue on hope hopefully it won't dry and then just put it down see it usually it just finds its home yeah that looks nice and straight this side yep see it just naturally went into place you if you've if you've got your paper cut and scored properly that usually usually it'll, it'll work like that it just found its place I didn't have to do anything there we go. And now I'm gonna come in here and press that down. Okay, see, easy, easy. And now I'm gonna take my flap and, did I do that right? Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say, did I put the corner on the wrong side? No, <laughs> I did that before. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, are you kidding me? All right, so this tab right here, we're gonna attach our lid to, just like that. And you just wanna make sure, oh, there's where that paper's all funky. Um, make sure that you get it even on this score line and the sides are even. You want to go right up to that score line in the back and right up to it and the sides are nice and even see there we go we've got our flap attached got a little glue oozing out over there i might be i might be off just a little bit there but that's okay i can trim that just make sure that is nice and stuck down because this is a movable part Okay. Too much glue, but I think you probably need a little extra glue. Yeah, I'm off a tiny bit, but I'm, you know, you can't even tell. So there we go. There's your box, just like that. Now I'm going to put my um, magnets on next. If you don't want to do magnets, go ahead and decorate it and then put your Velcro, uh, put your all your mats on the inside and outside and put your velcro dots in there and just close it down but I'm gonna use magnets and uh, I'm gonna try I think I had a little trouble because I need something to put some pressure on to grab the magnets on the inside I'll show you how I do it anyway I've got these neo um, what do you call them neo something they're very 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 strong and these are one millimeter thick by eight millimeters. That's the kind I like. I have the little tiny ones, but these are the ones I use most of the time. And I use glue dots. You put yours on the way you do it. This is just how I do it. Okay, I've got these little mini glue dots from Stampin' Up. They are very strong. Let me take this off. That's used up. And I'm just going to put a glue, put a couple of glue dots actually on the um, magnet. And I just kind of rub my finger on there so it really sticks. Ah, that is sticky, sticky. Boy. I'm going to put another one because I, I don't want these magnets to come off. So I'm gonna put another one on there and really give it a nice little rub so it sticks. Okay. That I'm telling you, this is some these glue dots are good, very good. Now the first one I'm gonna come down about a third of the way 
and I'm gonna come over at least a half an inch because we are gonna cover this up with paper. So you need, you know, room. Don't put it put it way over there because you you'd you'd see it. And you wanna make sure they don't come off. So just stick that down. Really press that down. I had trouble the last time getting them uh and don't worry about the direction. We'll they'll we'll make sure they find their they don't, they'll, they'll attract and not, re, uh, whatever you call it. They'll attract each other. But don't worry about that now. God, these glue dots are sticky. But they're good. That's, I like stamping up, I'll tell you. What can I say? All right, now we're going to come over here and try to get you know it does not have to be don't worry if it's not exactly the same but get it as even as you can i'm eyeballing it i'm not even measuring it i really want to press that down okay there we go and now just let these other magnets find their way there we go and now we're going to put magnets i'm, I'm sorry glue dots on top of these okay so this way, when I when I bring this over, it'll uh, it'll stick to this to the front of the box. That's why I'm doing it this way. That's how I do it. Um, Teresa did it a little different. She used um, double sided tape, and I was like, "Hmm, I've never done that before." I said, "I better stick to what I know," because I am rusty right now. Let me put a glue dot on there. Oh, stay there. Stay there. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to put another one on there because they kind of slip and slide. Let's see. Um, get a glue dot on there. Yeah. You know what I might do? Since it's this part and I don't have to worry about it, I might... I think I am. I think now, now I can put, I can put a little, no, I can't, not yet. No, I cannot. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I put the tape on down here, not here. Let me put another glue dot on there so I can get it, hopefully, to just easily stick to this side. Uh, where's that glue dot? There we go. I know it's hard to see on black. It's hard for me to see. Get off of there. There we go. Okay. So there's our glue dots. Put those away. And now I'm, I'm just going to, hopefully this will, let me see if I can get these in. Nope. I need something. See, this is what I'm having trouble with. Um, bring this over and make sure that your sides are aligned. You want it to look neat in the front. And straight. Well, I'm off a little tiny bit, y'all. I must not have cut something right because I am off a little tiny bit, but that's okay. There we go. That's fine. That's fine. Absolutely fine. Now, somehow I've got to get, I can't put enough pressure to get those bottom magnets. That's why I wish I should have put something in there. I should have looked around to find something so I could really press it down to get those bottom magnets to stick onto the front. But I'm going to try to rub it and see if I can't get them to stick and then get them apart. That's the hard part. There we go. Got that one. All right, come on. These are very strong. There we go. Okay, got it. Very strong magnets very strong okay there we go now I, if i want i think i might now down here and you could do the same up there too it just ensures that the magnets are gonna stick you know you don't have to you certainly don't have to but i'm putting this double-sided tape right over here and um I'm only going to do it on the bottom ones because I don't want to put, you know, there, there is going to be layers on here. So I, I don't want, you know, I don't want to 
uh, lose the strength of my magnets because I have too much too much uh, paper. But this is glue, so I don't think it's going to matter. I just want to make sure it doesn't come off. And it, it really, I, I've yet to have one come off. I'm just going to go around there. I've yet to have one come off. So I don't think it will. But then I can just, when I go to layer this, I can just peel this off. I wonder if I should do it up here too. Um, hmm. Those glue dots are strong, but you know, this doesn't hurt to do this either. And I'm just running my nail just around that magnet. I do not like to tear this, I like to cut it. <laughs> I know it's tearing tape and I don't like to tear it. <laughs> and just make sure, you know, also you don't want to go too close because you need to you put your um, paper over here and, and you don't want adhesive. So there we go, that'll be enough. And that'll just help it stick. Al, could you close that door, please? I'm just doing a video, okay. All right, there we go. Now, now we can start decorating it, okay? Let me just make sure, there we go, that's fine. Yeah, these are really strong magnets, I love it. Okay, now, I guess I'll start on the inside. Now, Teresa did not give um, the measurements for the layers. The uh, She did give the measurements for the um, the um, cardstock layers, but not the DSP. She just said she liked an eighth of an inch border. So, you can do it. Now, this, like, okay, the front, the front and the back, the same size. She gave measurements for the cardstock, which is five and three quarters by four and a half, okay? So, cut that. And then my, I wanted to layer the designer series paper on top so i just came down an eighth of an inch which would be five and five eighths by four and three eighths okay she didn't give these measurements but that's all you do if you want to come down a quarter of an inch it would be five and a half by f uh four and a quarter okay you know however you want to do it but i kind of like these little little tiny borders myself so i did also an eighth of an inch so you'll need two pieces and if you don't want to use red if you want to use the same color cardstock use same color cardstock doesn't matter I, I really uh i was surprised when i did that use the same you know didn't layer it with another i like that i think it looks pretty so uh, you know however you want to do it it's up to you i was thinking i didn't do it yet but i was thinking about maybe just coloring a couple of these little flowers red i might do that i might go back and do that um, cause that's kind of pretty, just a couple of them, just a couple of them, not, not, you know, I want to keep the white, but I might color maybe just a couple, a couple of them in red. You use my, um, uh, Stampin' Blends and do that. Okay. However you like it, that's how you do it. Um, let's see, where's my, buy? uh, take your pick tool here. Where is it? Come on. Good grief. Um, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and remove this tape. There we go. Yeah, that, that, that just helps, I guess. Won't hurt. Sure won't hurt. So two pieces of five and three quarters by four and a half. And then I put my DSP on there. And I don't, I'm definitely going to go back and wonder if, nah, I'm not going to do it now, but I'm going to go back and color that. And then my designer series paper, I came down an eighth of an inch, five and five eighths by four and three eighths. And it does just make the box sturdier. Okay, that's real. You can decorate this however you like, whatever colors, whatever, you know, however you wanna layer your layers, do that. It doesn't matter, it's what you like. Okay, so that's off and then I'm just gonna now the, the cardstock, she did come down a quarter of an inch. She did come down a quarter of an inch, but the DSP, she only came down an eighth of an inch. Okay, I think that looks pretty straight. Yeah, that's pretty. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna color these, couple of these, just a couple of them in red, just to highlight that. And I'm just gonna rub this down. Make sure it's nice and stuck. Okay. 
Oh, that's pretty. I do, I do love red and black. I love that combination. Okay, now, this, um, what did I do with all my pieces I've decorated? I'm going to go ahead and put the back on, too. Might as well. Same thing, same measurement. Get that over with. I love these boxes. They'd be nice little storage boxes, too. Okay. And which way did I go up? I don't think it had, yeah, a little bit of a direction, yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to put that in the center as best I can. There we go. Use my ruler. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to do the sides. Now these sides, two sides, again, I use the cardstock, are four and a half by one and a half, okay? The, the cardstock. And the DSP is four and three quarters by one and three eighths. And I will leave all this for you. So four and a half by one and a half for the cardstock and four and three eighths by one and three eighths for the DSP. And I did use a different piece of um, DSP for this. I like to do that a lot, change my sides. You can make it the same. You can certainly use the same um, DSP. That's pretty too. Let's see, does this have a way to go? Um, no, no direction. Okay, so let me just get this on there. Even. Um, one of the boxes, I think I forgot to put the... Um, yeah, I did. Uh, this one, I forgot to put the layer behind there. Look how pretty that is. I like that too. That's pretty too. So if you don't want to do the cardstock, just put the DSP. I like that too. I just think the cardstock just makes it um, a whole lot sturdier. But that is pretty. I like that. I was just playing around. So now I've got a whole boatload of cards to make. But that's okay. I need to get myself back in here and busy. And now that I'm able to, I mean, I'm, I'm going to take it easy. But I wanted this done because I want this in the mail. Okay. And line that up. Okay. Yeah, yeah, she did come down a quarter of an inch, and then, then the paper, she just came down an eighth of an inch, which I, I kind of like myself. I like eighth of an inch borders. I don't find them any, any more difficult to put on than a quarter inch border. I'll be get those cro as crooked as the other one, don't matter. All right, so we'll decorate the inside. Now, the, this, you need two of these. Now, I emboss these. You don't have to. You can just cut. Uh, what size are these? Okay, these are five and three quarters by one and a half. And if you want to put designer series paper on it, uh, it would be three and, f I'm sorry, five and three eight, five and five eighths by one and three eight, one and three eighths. Yeah. So this would be five and three quarters. I can't even read my writing on there because it's embossed. Five and three quarters by one and a half, the cardstock and the designer series paper, if you wanted to put it on there, which I did on this one. Nope. <laughs> nope, not that one. <laughs> that one. I put designer series paper. So just do it however you feel like it. So I'll, I'll leave the measurements for you. And this is just going to go right here just to cover up where we joined it make it neater inside and i just i just like the embossed look like i embossed the top of this one and i did emboss the top of this one i just liked it i like embossed anything embossed so it just neatens up the inside and anytime you emboss things kind of go a little heavy on the glue because there's a lot of little nooks and crannies in there so go a little heavy on the glue and i'm just going to put that right in the middle Clean that up. 
looks better. There we go. I might have to snip a little bit of that off. We'll see. I am off a tiny bit. Okay. Now, up here. Now, the inside. Okay. Now, this piece is um, one and three quarters by five and three quarters. And I am not going to put the cardstock behind this because the magnets are there. And I don't want to... This way. It's going to go that way. I don't want to... You know, I want the magnets to stick. So, I'm just going to put the DSP there. So, this would be one and three quarters by five and three quarters, okay? And then I rounded the corners because, you know, this is rounded. And I'm not gonna back it because I just, I want to make sure my magnets stick. Um, these are strong magnets, so it might work, but I didn't want to take a chance. I want the magnets to stay closed. So I'm not backing this, or layering, I should say. Okay, so let me put some glue on here. The one on the front, I did layer. So just remember that. I mean, you know, maybe your magnets would stick, but I don't know if they will or not, tell you the truth. So I just didn't take a chance. But if you want to, you go right ahead. I just wanted those magnets to be nice and strong. Yeah, they're not going anywhere. They're not going anywhere. There we go. Very good. Yeah, they're nice and strong. Nice and strong. That's I I, I would no, I would not I'll tell you the truth. I would not put cardstock behind that. Not on the inside. On the outside, yes, but not on the inside. Cause see that you hear that click? Perfect. Okay. So now let's go to the front and see like this one I've already. I already um, layered it with the cardstock. So again, cardstock is five and three quarters by one and three quarters, and the DSP will be five and five eighths by one and five eighths. Okay, and that's just going to go right there, just like that. Yeah, I just didn't want to do it on the inside, just because of those magnets. I want my magnets to stay strong enough to stay closed that's why i did it that way and just in that one spot everything else is fine to do it you know layer it but i there i would not personally okay i don't know how i'm going to decorate this yet um i just wanted to show y'all whoop too much glue let's get that glue down I can feel my magnets, but they're nice and thin, so you really can't see them. Especially with all this paper, you cannot see them, which is nice. Okay, there we go. One more piece and we're done. The top. Now, this is the same as this right here. One and one half by five and three quarters. And, you know, if you wanted to put designer series paper on, go right ahead. I'm choosing not to. I like this embossed look on top. But you do it however you like it. I hope I'm in frame. I have not even been looking up to see if I am. I'm sorry to be taking so long, y'all. But I wanted to try to explain. And I'm telling you, I'm rusty. I'm rusty. I haven't been in here in weeks. And then I saw this box. I went, oh, that's it. That's it. Now, now I've got to make a boatload of cards. But that's good. It'll force me. There we go, there we go. There's your box. Isn't that pretty? I think it's beautiful. And I'm definitely gonna color just a couple of these roses, uh, flower, whatever they are, uh, in red with my blends. Cause I think that'll be pretty, just a couple of them. And I think that is gorgeous. I love black and red together myself. It's not overpowering. That's why I wanna color, color the, a couple of these. That's pretty, very pretty. And then I'll use the paper and maybe I'll make some of those, um, uh, what I call those cards that we cut in pieces and put them together. That would be easy. And especially that would be nice with this kind of paper. I've already forgotten what they're called now. Um, but, uh, no, stick, slice, something stacks, slice or something, stack, slice, and 
whatever. <laughs> I forgot already. But I think I'll, those will be easy with this kind of um, paper to use. So I'm going to make uh, make those for that because I don't I don't have I don't believe I have the stamp set for this. Just the paper. But anyway, there is your A2 size box. I think it's really nice. It's very sturdy. Uh, it's very easy to make. I love that magnetic closure. It is nicer than Velcro, tell you the truth. It is. Um, so there you go. I hope you all enjoy that. I hope I didn't confuse you. Um, I will leave the measurements in um, Teresa Brown's channel. And y'all, thank you so much for being so patient with me and, and so sweet. I've gotten so many messages and um, I'm okay. I'm, I'm okay. Uh, you know, it's just taken, taken me some time because everything just kind of went haywire. So there's my boxes. And Donna, honey, I'm so sorry. So sorry, honey. Hope you feel better too. Poor Donna's got bronchitis. So, y'all, I will see you soon. I've got to make a whole bunch of cards. I got to make a baby card. I'm going to a baby shower in a couple of weeks. So, I got to make a bag and a baby card. And, uh, oh, and this one I forgot. So, this way I can whip together some cards. And Amy can have some gifts for her teacher friends or whoever. She's always got somebody she's got to give something to. But anyway, y'all, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. I've missed you so much. I love y'all. I'm, I'm just so thankful to have you, and I will see you soon. Thank you so much for watching, y'all. Bye-bye.